All right, so this is part two of the Nature's Comfort model GT6000 outdoor wood gasification boiler. And now we're looking at the back side, the controls. Uh, just a quick overview. We've got the blower fan, a linear actuator that opens and closes the passage for the air to go into the primary and secondary burn chambers. We've got the electric control panel. Uh, it's got a RANCO uh, electronic temperature control. You get an LED readout here what the temperature is inside the boiler. We've got the rear switch that will power up uh, the entire boiler or shut it off. The control panel gets wired into uh, through this into this. This powers the panel. Uh, and then there's a battery charger. This has a uh, sealed battery inside this compartment that if you lose power, uh, this linear actuator will close by battery power. So there's a little charger that we have that we wire in with these wires, plug it in here to keep that battery fully charged. So if you get a power outage, you got power. Uh, up top here is the back side of those horizontal tubes that I showed you from the front. And we'll pull that panel off. There's, there's two nuts on these. Uh, that top panel comes off. Here again, insulated rope seal. And that's the area where you can clean out. It's also an area where uh, your vertical tubes come up and meet your horizontal tubes. So uh, the panel down below here, this panel is gives you access to that lower compartment that we saw from the front. This is where the gases come back through that fire brick then they they go up through the vertical tubes forward through the horizontal tubes there's actually over 12 feet of heat transfer area in this boiler which is one of the largest uh, heat transfer areas for a boiler of this size on the market today uh, then here you have your three-speed circulation pump and this unit is designed from the manufacturer for multi-zones. If you pull this plug off you can do the same thing here. Have another uh, circulation pump. There's areas here where you could actually get four uh, different zones worth of pipes up here. You could put four uh, circulation pumps handle four separate buildings if you needed to do that. Uh, very versatile boiler. So that's the back side. Inside of this control panel uh, is that charger that I had told you about and the battery and the electronic controls. Very easily marked. Uh, so that's the back side of the unit. In these tubes, uh, we use these stainless steel spinners, and they actually go into the tube, and they force the air as it goes through the tubes to rotate around the outside of the tubes. That, that air without a spinner tends to go through the point of least resistance, so it would stay in the center of the tube. It doesn't transfer heat efficiently that way. So we have these spinners and you install them in the horizontal tubes and in the vertical tubes. And in the vertical tubes there's two little tabs in each one so you, you slide the unit up and then you turn it so that the bottom of it sits on uh, one of those little things to keep it from falling back out. In the bottom there's a boiler drain. Uh, you've got a temperature gauge, and this is our 
our primary electric junction box here. So that's the back side of the unit. Uh, again, GT6000 outdoor wood gasification boiler. And you can, ah, the, the, wind's, the wind's playing in. There's those uh, back of the secondary burn chamber where I had showed you before. And then up at the top, uh, you can see the tubes inside there and the electric control panel and there's the linear actuator on the fan that's actually a a real good setup manufacturers that don't put something like that in there when you get a power outage if this stove was cranking up and and you're putting out 250,000 BTUs and all of a sudden the power goes out this thing wants to suck air wherever it can suck it from so with a power outage if you don't have a backup to shut off the air passage into the boiler like this one does you can you can get a boiler that'll overheat uh, so that's a safety precaution that nature's comfort put on this boiler to protect your investment so we'll go through in another video and show each compartment by itself